You see, cows and bullocks are just part of the, the fun and the hazards that you've got to avoid when you go chub fishing. There's nettles, there's barbed wire to tear your clothes, there's all sorts of insects that can bite you, and then you've got these chaps to contend with. And you might be wondering, well, why the hell do we do it? Right on the top of the bank, cow breathing right down my forearm, <laughs> and that chub, I just watched it suck in a free-lined, big, black, juicy slug. And let me tell you, that is the reason that you go chub fishing. All action, all excitement, you cannot beat it. Fantastic. Oh, I'll tell you what, chub fishing is a bit like bad sex. It's all over very, very quickly. But in the meantime, it's extremely exciting. They want to do it themselves. When they, they got to approach the water with great stealth, uh, I've been quoted as calling myself a hunter of carp. And I think this is very true. If you're going to hunt any animal, fish or whatever, you've got to think like them. You've got to put yourself in a position where you could catch your tiger, lion, elephant or carp. <laughs> It's the same one as I had the other day. In the 1990s, two species of Asian carp, big head and silver carp, became established in the upper Mississippi River system. Where established, the great abundance of these species is obvious due to their leaping behavior. These large, filter-feeding fishes have the potential to disrupt food webs and may have negative impacts on native fish populations.